What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Tag in with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about job corp termination and what has changed over the years. But before we get into this video, y'all like subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Hey, what's up? What's going on, <clears throat> y'all? I had really made this video probably like about two weeks ago, probably not even that, probably like a week and a half ago, but. <laughs> I was on my way to the hair store and yeah, my hair was tore up. It's still tore up now. I just got it wrapped up or whatever, but let's get straight into the video. So I know um, on my channel, I have a video uh, about me getting terminated from Job Corp a while back. Um, I really don't know the information, the new stuff that's going on now ever since COVID and all that happened. But I'm pretty sure a lot has changed since COVID dealing with Job Corps, okay? So I'm just going to give you um, my information on it and this, that, and the third. If you have more information, y'all feel free to comment and all that good stuff. Spread the word about people that are planning on signing up or already signed up to Job Corp, okay? But anywho, um, back at Earl C, and this happened probably like 2006. 17, 16, somewhere up in there, right? I had got terminated for punching a dude in the face. Now, do I regret punching him in the face? No, he deserved it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but I'm going to tell y'all the tactics that Job Corp would try to do because all termination is not fair, okay? Some some people at Job Corp, Job Corp really do them dirty, right? Um... Job Corp really will throw you up under the bus and make it seem like you just this horrible uh, person. And I had already told y'all before that, you know, sometimes those uh, staff members look at y'all like criminals and convicts and all that. So, uh, anywho, uh, back at Earl C, I had got terminated for punching the dude in the face, right? I completed my trades and then I had got let me see, I got in trouble with two days before graduation. And uh, I admitted that I did it to him, but he wasn't looking at the fact of what caused me to do it, you know. And the fact of it is, this person reported me um, off his own um, ways or whatever, his, you know, messed up ways or whatever. And... Um, the center director wound up terminating me anyway, even though I was complete. So when you complete, you're supposed to get $500 or $1,000, depending on your uh, high school diploma status when it comes to that, okay? But um, they wouldn't give me my $500. And so I was kind of shitty about it, but after a while, I was kind of like, eh. It is what it is because I had two jobs at Job Corp. So I had already saved up money. But yeah, that 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 500 they would not let me have, which I think sucks, but oh well. That's one of the shysty things that Job Corp would do. Um, do I feel like it's right? They should have went on ahead and gave me my money even though I was complete. Because the thing about it is, y'all, y'all don't have to walk across that. This is why this is why I feel like it was bullshit. Because graduation at Job Corp is way different from graduating from a college, graduating from a high school. It's way different. Um, when you complete, you complete. You can go home. You don't have to wait out to go to graduation. And see, like with me, I completed Job Corp of 2016 but i graduated 2017 so i stayed a little bit longer just for me to go to graduation um and a lot of people say well tay why did you want to go to graduation well because when i was at turner in georgia i never got to go to a graduation even though i completed from there also i never got to go to a graduation so I feel like when I look back at it, it's kind of dumb because I should have just, and on top of that, and on top of that, I was looking for an apartment. So yeah, that's another reason why I stayed 
because yeah, if 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 that wasn't if I wasn't planning on moving to where I was moving to, y'all, I would have just completed and went back home. Okay, um, but I didn't. So that kind of messed me up. Um, when I was at Turner in Georgia back in 2014, I had a similar situation, but it wasn't like the one at Earthsea. So when I was at Turner, uh, I completed my trade just like Earthsea, right? But during the, pro during the time that I was there, I had got into a, some trouble where they counted as a level two, aka it was domestic violence, something like that. And the, and the situation was similar where um, I got into it with this guy and uh, he put his hands on me and I fought him back, you know, this, that, and the third. So, y'all, this is not my first time getting altercations with men or guys at Job Corp. If anybody ever went to Job Corp with me, they know I'm always swinging or popping somebody or cussing somebody out, okay? So, <laughs> Um, it wasn't easy and I got into it with a lot of, cause when you at job court, you have more males than females. Okay. Some guys are just buttholes and I don't care how many guys I talk to, I date and this, that, and the third, that don't give you a right to just feel like you could just talk to me in the kind of way or say anything you want to say because you see other people doing it. So you feel like, oh yeah, I can do this and do that. Some guys there just want to attack you for no reason. I don't care if you are the guy that I attack and you watching my video. I'll hit you again, okay? Because y'all know what y'all be doing, right? Y'all y'all slick, y'all shysty, and you snake as fuck, so you know what you be doing. So, um, <laughs> for real, y'all. So, that little situation just happened, and I wind up completing, right? Wind up completing, and my friend at the time, she graduated, and I was going to their graduation. So I get to Turner, and they turn me around at the door, and they like, oh, you can't come. And I'm like, why? And what's so crazy about it? They remembered me, so it sucked for, the, for them to even remember who I was, and they was like, nah, we remember you. You can't come. So I'm like, what you mean? I completed. Oh, but you got a level two. So at there, if you got a level two or a level one, you can't come to a graduation. That is the most pettiest, bullshit-ass rule that they ever created, right? Back then, you could get terminated from Job Corp and then go to another one, right? But now, in today's generation, now that you know Job Corp changes over the years, months, weeks, days at a time, if you get terminated from Job Corp now, there's no signing back up. That's it. You can't wait a year. You can't, none of that. There's, if you go AWOL, you cannot sign back up to job court, okay? You have to leave on good standing to go to job court because you got up to two years to attend job court. I've seen people stay there for at least three and a half. I've seen people that been at job court for at least two to three years, more than just two, but your max is up to two years at job court, okay? Do not let these people... Uh, uh, trick y'all into thinking you can, I've seen people be at job court five, six months. It all depends on your instructor, your, um, it all depends on what trade you in and, and how quick you get it done. Um, a lot of this stuff is self-paced kind of, but there are certain, uh, staff members that will, uh, get bullshit with you and that will give you the run around. Some staff members would do things on purpose to make you not complete. So you have to just really be aware of that stuff when you go to job court. All job courts ain't good, okay? All of them, you know, so you got some good, got some bad. All staff members ain't nice. You got some staff members are just as shysty as the students, okay? You got some staff members that be messing around with the students, okay? So I just want y'all to be mindful of that when y'all go, determination and stuff like that has changed. I know their rules and stuff has changed when it comes to that termination. I know this one guy, man, I was at Earl C. I'll never forget it. I think bro was like from Memphis or something. He was from Mississippi, Tennessee. He was somewhere, somewhere down there. And uh, make a long story short, he came to Job Corp and he was there for about three, four months. And then he got terminated. And uh, he was gone for another three, four months, and he came back 
I was like, what's up, boy? You done came back? He was like, yeah, Tay, man, they done let me back. The same day, y'all, he they brought him back. They terminated him again. And I just, so, like, when y'all get terminated and they bring y'all back, whether it's on medical leave, whether it's bereavement, whether it's some type of medical condition and you leave job corporate, come back, please be mindful that they won't tell y'all this, but they use that as y'all advantage. They would use that to say, oh, yeah, well, she, well, he or she left three, four months. When they come back, oh, they better not do one thing. We're going to terminate them. They terminate y'all for the smallest stuff. Some of that stuff be unruly. Like, it doesn't be fair at all. They be terminating people from nothing. I remember uh, when I was at Turner, they had a big riot, big brawl fight. And one of my homies got terminated all because he looked like somebody. He wasn't even a part of the fight. And they terminate him all because he looked like somebody. So that just goes to show y'all, like, these people at Job Corp do not play fair. Be careful who you hang around. If you hang around a certain group of people, they're going to terminate you right along with them, even though you wasn't involved. So, yeah, there have been, I've saved a few people from getting terminated, went to the folks, but then you got people. And you got certain staff members who don't give a fuck. You know, they want to, like it's prison, they want to make an example out of you, even though you're innocent, okay? They just want to make an example out of you because half of them already look at you as criminals and convicts anyway. They already think you're a delinquent when you come up there because half of y'all, that's what be wrong with you when you come up there. You're a troublemaker. And not everybody be a troublemaker, but a lot of them do. And they be homeless and stuff, so they reckless. They... They psyched out. They popping off and all that, okay? So I just want y'all to be mindful of that, all right? Y'all like, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media accounts, and I will put them in the description box below.